Welcome back. Okay, I've made a few changes to this since our last video. One thing I've done is trimmed this composition so that it's shorter. It was a minute before and now it's 10 seconds. And I've also added a quick fade in. So see how that orange ticket fades in? Okay, everything else just drops in for now. We're going to apply that fade and um, I actually have a sound file that I am going to delete for now because I want to work on it in After Effects. So we're going to put the fades in and then we're going to put in the sound. Okay, so right now this composition is 10 seconds long and it gives a little bit of time for a title or something like that. But quite honestly, I still think it's too short. So what we're going to do is click, go back to zero take my playhead back to zero and I'm going to hit the word, the, the key B and I'm actually going to make it eight seconds long. So I'm going to have it end at eight seconds. N trims that work area. You can also drag it manually if you want, but B and N for beginning and end. So that's different from Premiere, which is I and O for in and out. So yes, it doesn't make sense, but that's all right. We're going to go to composition and we're going to trim comp to the work area. So now our work area is eight seconds, which leaves us really plenty of time to get everything done that we want. We don't want a super long bump here. That's just going to bore our audience. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so what I've done here first is I have animated the orange ticket and you can see that I've clicked opacity and I have two keyframes going. So it's at zero percent opacity here and then it fades in over time. Okay, so we're going to apply that. Now I could use the effects and presets animation, but instead I'm going to just use the opacity. So the orange ticket fades in. After that, the left top ticket fades in. And I'm actually gonna manually adjust the time here. So left top ticket, and you go to those transform prop properties. And um, here's a quick shortcut. There are key commands for each one of these. For example, position is P, U is universal, it gets you everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click opacity. So now it's at right at opacity of zero. And then I'm going to have it fade up quickly. And I'm going to add a keyframe manually and then I'm going to take the opacity to 100%. So let's see how that, that flows. Nice. Okay. All right. Left top ticket. Grungy thing's coming in last. Top ticket's coming in last. Background we don't need to worry about. So we're going to animate the type. So I'm going to do the same thing. So GU. Opacity zero here. Fade it in quickly. 100%. Let's check that. There. There. Okay, so we're going to have this come in, this stuff come in fast. So I'm just going to quickly work here. GU film. Transform opacity. The word film comes in right here. Click 0%. Click for keyframe, 100%. Check it. Ooh, I have a little funky thing going on there. Let's see that. I have an extra keyframe. Look at that. How did I do that? That happens sometimes. Let's fix it. So the word GU, I have an extra keyframe that I want to delete. So under opacity, I'm going to go to, I'm going to take my playhead back. Take it right to that extra keyframe. And all I have to do to delete a keyframe is hit the delete key. All right, that's going to work better. There we go. All right, so film. Fast. Fast. 
fest comes in here. So I'm going to set its opacity keyframe to 0%. I'm going to set its opacity keyframe to 100%. Click. And then I'm going to do the same for 2018. So you can see this is a bit tedious, but not too bad. So I'm make, making sure I click on the layer itself. So opacity, so fast, GU Film Fest 2018. So 2018 pops in, opacity 0%. Film fast, and then we'll have it come to dissolve in quickly to 100%. All right. There. Okay. So category animation is going to fly in. All right. So I'm going to stop it using the space bar. I'm going to save. Good to be paranoid. Now let's work on category animation and have that fly in. So let's go to category. So clicking on that layer, category is going to fly in. So let's go to the point where it flies in. I'm actually going to make it a little fly in a little bit more quickly. I want it to have some time to fly in. So I'm going to move that forward in time because it needs time to drop down. I'm going to have it drop down from the top. So I'm going to move it, hold on the shift key, move it down from the top. All right, in its transform properties, we're transferring position. So its first position is right here, category. And then I'm going to put another keyframe here. And remember, I can adjust this. And its position, see, look, here's its x and y coordinates. But I'm going to eyeball it and drag it. So dragging it without stretching it, that would be good. category. Okay, see here we have our fly in here. Category too slow. Move those keyframes closer together. There, much better. All right, so now animation is our next fly in and that needs to fly in much faster than it's flying in right now. Then it's popping in rather. We're going to make it fly in. So animation is going to fly in from the right. So I clicked P for position and it's going to start off the composition. Notice I've made this smaller so I can see stuff that is off the composition. And I'm going to click my little time indicator for its first keyframe and I'm going to fly it in quickly second keyframe, holding down the shift key to keep the position the same on the, on the horizontal axis. And actually I think I wanted it to be there. All right, so let's see how that flows. GU Film Fest 2018 category animation. I actually think it all could be faster. Um, I may do that for the next iteration of this. Okay, so now the only things we need to work with here are the ticket and the grungy thing. So the grungy thing is going to fade in. I'm actually going to have it fade in when category animation fades in, so I'm going to adjust the time. I'm changing my mind about that. And have it fade in first. All right, so... These are distracting. I prefer to work with one transform property at a time. Opacity, first keyframe, it's at 35%. Okay, we're going to make it zero. And as category flies in, that's going to dissolve in in the middle of animation. So it's going to dissolve in a little bit more slowly. 
So we'll bring that back up to 35% and let's see what we have. GU Film Fest 2018 category animation. And this flew in or dissolved in rather, um, rather slowly, almost so that we don't notice it. Last thing we're going to animate here is the top ticket. Okay, so this is I want to come in super fast. So right now, it needs to come in dead last. And we're going to set our keyframe here for opacity at 0% here. And we're going to have it fade in and move at the same time. Second keyframe, 100%. Now we're also going to animate its position at the same time. So we're going to animate two. So its position is going to start off off screen and it's going to drop down at the second keyframe. Right as it's dissolving in, it is also going to fly in from the top. So it's going to drop down quickly. All right, let's see if that's fast enough. Perfect. OK, so I still may want to speed that up. Next thing I'm going to need is to add some sound. OK, so that gives us a little bit of time to show a preview while all this is flying in. And I'm going to save it. Stop that playhead. And I'm going to import a file. And it's called Polite Applause. And I'm going to put it on the top. All right, let's see how that sounds. Okay, I may want to tweak that later, but it has a nice fade in and fade out, and it's about eight seconds long, which is good. I'm going to save that. And now I am going to um, close this for now. But one thing I can do is render it. So let's render this baby. So first I'm going to save it as project end. So that's my final. I may tweak it later. And now I'm going to export it by adding it to the render queue. All right, so here's our render settings. Best, quality full, output module lossless, and FilmFest Enterprise. Uh, this is our current render. Whoops. I need to set its destination. So see it says output to not yet specified. So we're going to outfit we're going to output it as a .mov. We could out we could output it as any number of file formats, but we don't want to do that. We're going to keep the full res for right now. We may have to compress it later, but we're not going to do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and render it. Click. Now it's rendering. So this may not be my final render, but it's done now. And if I take a look here, I have AE Lecture Part 1 Movie and I have FilmFest Interface.mov. That's what we want. Okay, so here's what it would look like. And we're going to just view full screen. Here's what it would look like. Great. Okay, so again, we may not use this as our final, but um, that's good enough for now, and it's good enough for this lesson. Thanks for watching.